UH football, it's amazing how in the off season, this far away from the season opener, UH football is still in the headlines week after week after week, and it's really because of the scheduling issues. They started spring ball this week, and it's just now getting out that Northern Colorado's players were told in recent days that they're going to be coming to Hawaii to play the Warriors. It hasn't been officially announced by UH, at least at the time of this taping, but Northern Colorado, a second 1AA team added to the schedule. What do you think about that? Heisman Trophy candidate uh, is almost out the window now. I don't think he will ever get considered for the Heisman Trophy because of strength of schedule. I mean, that's one of the things that you have to... Who has he played? Uh, he could run up all kinds of statistics against 1AA teams. Doesn't mean much. Doesn't mean much at all. He, and, that, and that's what worries me. He'll still be in the conversation at the beginning of the year. He still can put up incredible numbers. And if he plays well late into the season, that'll still, I think, count in the positive for him being considered for Heisman. But the thing that you look at is you're Hawaii. When you're Hawaii, there are already so many slants against you. There are already so many critics, members of boards and committees yeah. across the country that look at you and try to think of any excuse possible not to give Hawaii the credit yeah. that it just deserves. The easiest team to diss. Exactly. The easiest team because to diss. Because of its geography. Yeah. And so what this does is it adds more evidence to anybody, any naysayer that might want to say Hawaii isn't the team that they should be considered, isn't the team that deserves the credit that they should, that they should be considered for. And, and I think that's where you run into trouble. Is maybe it won't in the long run, maybe it won't necessarily hurt Colt all that much if he continues to ball throughout the season against the 1A opponents. But if you even create that scenario, if you even create that potential that it could negatively affect him, it's or it been. could negatively affect the BCS considerations, even though that might be a lofty expectation, the BCS <laughs> considerations of UH, then that is horrible. Yeah, yeah, it is. And I think it's already been done. I think, I think that the, anybody that looks at the schedule will say, uh, this team is not eligible for any kind of postseason on the BCS level <laughs> because they're going to play two 1AA teams. It definitely creates the scenario that they can lean on that as any crutch any, for and, any excuse. And they've already made up the excuse. Believe me, they've already made up the excuse. One, they play in the WAC. Mm -hmm. Now they're playing yeah. 1AA teams. Come on. And, and, and you just can't. In 1A football, you can't play exhibition games, which one of these 1AA games will be, in essence, because only one win would count towards bowl That's eligibility. Right. Not right. necessarily worried about UH being bowl eligible. I think they're going to get enough wins. But you just can't. By principle, you can't play exhibition games in 1A college football. And there's, that's, that's absurd. And there's one more game There's one more game out there that needs to be settled. Yeah. Uh, rumors are now that it's Mississippi State could be on the road. I don't know. But because of this, Hawaii has to run the table. That's the first thing that they must do. They must win every game. Mm -hmm. If they don't win every game, they're done. Yeah, so they started spring ball this week. And uh, I, I, one last thing about the one AA opponents is I'm okay with starting the season off against one. You know, you get that first game in, get Colts some reps, new offensive line, whatever, get some timing issues down. But you can't play an exhibition game. They're going to be playing Charleston Southern later on in the year, the second home game. And you can't do that. You can't play games that won't ultimately count.